What is going on everybody? Today we are going to talk about the pros and cons of living in Parker, Colorado and what they have to offer that you might not know of. And hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you are interested in learning more about Denver or some of the surrounding suburbs like Parker, Colorado, then hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell icon for notifications. This way you can be the first to know about any of my new videos that come out and you know you can learn a little bit more about all these cool places around here. If you don't already know, my name is Michael and I get people reaching out all the time looking to move to Denver or the surrounding areas. And you know, some people are moving in a month, a year, whatever works, but I'm here to help you make that transition a little bit smoother. So if that's the case, my contact information is below. You can email me, shoot me a text, give me a phone call, whatever you prefer, you know, I'm good with whatever, but more than happy to help you in whatever way I can. All right, so for those of you who don't know where Park Colorado is, it's kind of on the southeastern outskirts of Denver. So it might be like a 30, 45 minute drive from downtown, depending on the traffic, it might be a little bit longer if that's the case. Uh, but it's a nice little community, about 60,000 people, and great little community. And we're gonna get into the pros and cons right now. So let's start with the pros. The first one is that it is beautiful little area. It's kind of away from the mountains, so you can kind of see it from afar. And unless you're behind a hill, you can kind of see all the mountains going across and kind of see, you know, Denver going up there but it's just a really beautiful area. It's right before you kind of hit the plains of Colorado. So you have a mixture of plains, you know, forest, lots of evergreens, and you still have the mountains. So it's a very quiet area and it's just like a very peaceful feeling. Uh, it's got a nice ambiance to it. So a lot of people that like the area, I think like the quiet and just the scenic views that you have there because it's just kind of out on the outskirts, so it's not very busy, but it, it has like a very small town feel to it, but you still have all the things that make Colorado wonderful. All right, the second thing that we're gonna talk about is the outdoor recreation that they have. They have plenty of trails, parks, rec centers, all that stuff, so if you are trying to stay active and maybe try a few new things, there's plenty of things out there for you to do. If you have a dog, you can go take them for a run on the trail, whatever there's plenty of opportunity to stay active out there and the nice thing is because it's kind of on the outskirts of denver it's less busy it's not going to be as crowded so some of the activities that you might participate in maybe you like a little bit more alone time or just a little bit to yourself and you'll have that a little bit more out in parker colorado the third thing i'm going to talk about is the proximity to denver you are close to denver but you're also not close to denver so you're not going to get all that busy city life going on right next to you. And so, you know, you have a nice calm area if that's kind of your thing. And at the same time, if you need to go to Denver for a game or maybe something's going on, maybe there's an event that you want to go to, it's not very far. If you're doing it once or twice a month, it's not hard at all to get in there. And if you're commuting, it's really not a hard commute because, you know, you're on the outskirts, so there's not a whole lot of people coming to and from that area anyways. So it's just kind of people that are living in that community that's doing that. So traffic usually isn't that bad going to and from Parker. But for the most part, you're in a good spot compared to Denver. You're not too far, but you're also not too close. Number four is the community is very tight knit in Parker. They have a lot of community events throughout the year. So, you know, there's always something for you and your family to go do, or maybe you just go by yourself and meet a few people. Uh, one of the things is the Parker Fall Fest, they do it every year. And it's kind of like a mini county fair to say. You got, you know, things for kids, bouncy castles, carnival games, stuff like that. And then also a bunch of food trucks. So you have all your carnival food. So they probably have food like hot dogs, nachos, funnel cakes, cotton candy. So you're definitely probably gonna feel sick the next day, but for the one day a year, not too bad. You can take a cheat day. Another thing they do every single year is bike to work day where everyone just decides, hey, we're gonna bike to work, we're not gonna drive. And you know, maybe if you're far from work, maybe you don't do that. Uh, but if you're working locally or even if you're you know working from home, you probably just bike out there. But they do breakfast for people, they have some giveaways, they even do free bike checks and help people kind of fix their bikes a little bit up, just making making sure everything's good to go. So great day to get outside. They do it in the summer and 
you know, just a great way to get the community together for something fun and that's good for you. Now this last pro, I, I really could split it up into probably three different points, but I'm gonna wrap it into one. Uh, Parker has pretty much everything you need in Parker. So you don't necessarily need to go into Denver for anything if you don't want to. There's shopping, restaurants, healthcare facilities, libraries, rec centers, and they're all really well maintained too. So if you need to go do some grocery shopping or you know get some clothes, there's somewhere in Parker to go do that. You don't need to necessarily go all the way up into Denver, make a 45 minute trip for groceries. All that stuff is local. There's plenty of local restaurants, a lot of mom and pop type things, a lot of breweries around here. So you're not necessarily gonna get bored with Parker itself. And the only reason you need to leave is if there's something going on outside of Parker that you wanna go to attend. So if there's like a sports game or maybe you wanna go to a concert, Red Rocks, you're gonna have to leave Parker for that. But other than that, you can really just stay in Parker pretty much the whole year and you're not gonna really need to go anywhere. It's gonna have everything you need and you know, you're not gonna have to go far. If you just hop out the door, drive five, 10 minutes, you're gonna be at wherever you need. All right, I'm sure Parker sounds amazing already, but it's not all perfect. There are definitely a few cons to think of and to consider uh, if you're deciding on an area. So let's just get into that real quick. So the first con we're gonna talk about is the cost of living. Home prices are a little bit higher than other places in Denver and surrounding areas. And the median single family home is going for about 698,000. So it's not crazy expensive as some of the other areas in Denver, but it's also not cheap to live there. So just something you might have to bite the bullet on. I think you get plenty of value for your money because of the location, but for the most part, it's, it's still at the end of the day, a little bit more expensive than some of the other areas. All right, second thing I'm gonna talk about, and this, really only applies on certain days, but the traffic, I know I mentioned going to and from Denver is not that bad. And for the most part, it really isn't. But if you hit rush hour or just the wrong day, if a big game's going on, and you're trying to get into Denver when everybody else is trying to do the same thing at the exact same time, you're gonna run into a lot of traffic. And you know, that might only be two, three times a year, but it's not gonna be fun when you're in it. You're gonna be like, man, this is awful. Uh, but for the most part, you know, you're gonna be fine but there are gonna be some days where traffic is a little bit worse than others, and you're just gonna, it's just something to deal with when you're kind of living right next to a big city. And to tack on that last point, I'll go into point number three, but not a whole lot of public transportation down in Parker. You know, some of the other major cities definitely do that a little bit better. I, I will say that's something Denver doesn't do the best on, but you know, the, you might have some buses in Parker, but for the most part, there's not a whole lot to take advantage of in Parker. You're pretty much gonna have to have a car and get to and from where you're trying to go with that. All right, that gets into our third point, the population growth of Parker. Parker has rapidly increased population over the last few decades. Back in 1990, they had a population of about 5,600, and today they're sitting between 60,000, 62,000 roughly. So it's really blown up uh, just because of, I think people wanna move to Denver, they wanna live in Colorado, but they also don't wanna be in that busy area. So, oh, you know, Barker's right there. It's on the outskirts, it's very low key. I think that's really attractive to a lot of people. So a lot of people are moving there. So if you're moving there, hoping that it'll stay the same size, probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna continue expanding. It might not be as rapid as the last three decades, but it's gonna continue growing and it's just something to keep in mind when you're moving there. And then the last thing I'm gonna to touch on is the limited nightlife. You know, big cities usually have all sorts of things going on, clubs, late night bars, stuff like that. Probably not gonna have that in Parker. It's a little bit low key, not as much to do at night. So if you're looking for stuff like that, Parker might not be the answer. Now, if you're doing it, if, if you wanna go out, you know, a couple times a month, Parker would be fine. You know, you just travel to, Denver or kind of that area when you want to go somewhere and do something. But for the most part, you're not going to find anything too exciting happening on late at night in Parker. I think people kind of like the quietness of the area and they kind of like to keep it that way. So you're going to find a lot of similar like-minded people and not a lot of businesses or things going on that would be attractive to people that would not necessarily like that kind of slow lifestyle. So with all that being said, there are definitely some positives and negatives to Parker, Colorado. But for the most part, I think it balances out. It has a very particular attraction to a certain 
type of people. And you know, if those are things that you're interested in, then maybe Parker's for you. Maybe it's not, I don't know. But with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you maybe learned a little bit of something. If you did, hit the like button down below. And don't forget if you're planning on moving out, whether it's next month, next year, whenever, feel free to hit me up. My contact information is below. I'd love to help you in whatever way I can.